Howdy friends, welcome back to Make and Play. Leanne Hale here at the Purple Turtle Art Studio. Mm, solid man, I nailed it. Here we go. We are working on our playhouse. Oh, it's so great. And it makes me think of Pee Wee Herman and his playhouse and I love him. We might have to get him to come and visit. I think he's in the building somewhere. I'll have to find him. Maybe Miss Heather can find Pee Wee. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is where we've gotten. Um, I think he's by the front door, actually, somewhere up there. If he's still here, he might have left. He's busy. He's a busy man, Amy Herman. Some of you won't know who that is, but I'm sure your parents will. So here is my cool playhouse. This is how far we got last time. I had so much fun building with you guys, but now we get to do the super fun part. Kind of like when we're drawing, we start with shapes, and then we go to contour, and then we do the fun stuff, right? The details. Okay, well, I'm still doing a little bit of contour because I'm, I'm still putting some things in. Our building blocks are armature, but uh, we're gonna get to do the details in a minute, and the details are like the best ever, you know? It's all in the deets. What are the deets? So we're gonna start putting in some wallpaper and some, we're gonna have some curtains and all of that stuff. Oh, I do, I do think that, I, I do think Pee Wee left. I think he left the building. He and Elvis left the building, Mr. T. So, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to go back and watch some of the other episodes because we have little visitors that come and visit us uh, on, on the set. The, the pirate, the pirate adventure. We have lots of visitors then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting in my wall coverings. You can see right here, I've decided to paint this one, this beautiful turquoise color. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some of the other ones I'm gonna glue in like we did uh, with our roof and some other areas. This is a beautiful piece of paper that one of my students made where they just crisscrossed watercolors and where they cross, you can see how the colors change. So that's a really nifty way to create some interesting paper. I laid my roof down on the piece of paper and traced it on the back and cut it out. Look how funky that is. Man, that's super cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my handy dandy scraper here and I'm gonna scrape on some glue, we gotta shake it down. <laughs> Rattle my brain trying to get this glue out. I also have my hot glue gun, but I don't need it right now. I'm gonna put it over there. I am using, just like last week, I'm using this, uh, this old gift card. It says, to a special mother. It wasn't to me though, I don't know. Somebody gave me this. I got a whole stack of used gift cards so I could use them for art. And this is a great tool to spread glue. It's also a great tool to spread paint and you can get a really cool paint texture by spreading your paint with a card like this. It's the same as like using a spackling knife or a flat um, palette knife. But I've got a whole bunch of them and when this one gets covered in glue and gets all nasty, I'm just gonna throw it away. I've already reused it. Let me get this back over here. So I'm just gonna match this up on the front. <laughs> my, I'm in shorts. I think I just ripped the skin off the back of my legs. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna line this up here. Oh my goodness gracious. I wonder if my husband would let me paint my house like this, the outside. It would definitely be in code. There's no way my neighbors would mind that at all. Oh, it's so good. Do you see how this really works with this rainbow I've got going on? Oh my goodness gracious, I love it. Okay, so I have created some, um, cut some other papers to fit in here. This is gift wrap. Look at little cowboy boots, it's so cute. And this one is gonna go on this side in here. See that? I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue. I like how I have this little black back area that I can sit my stuff up. I didn't have that before. I'm getting smarter. So I'm using these different papers, but remember, look around your house, see what you have. Ask your household manager if they have some gift wrap or some scrapbook paper or some old wallpaper, or maybe you have some books that you guys aren't using, then you can ask if you can 
tear those up and use the illustrations. I do a lot of that. I buy old books from resale shops or I get the free ones at the library. Sometimes they have a, um, a stand when you walk in that says free books and I'll take those books and then I'll rip them apart. You gotta make sure you ask first. People don't like it if you rip their books up. Okay, here we go. I, ooh, I wonder if I should put this in upside down. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to. Okay, we're gonna have the boots upside down. I accidentally put it in here that way and then I, I just think that's hilarious that they would be upside down. Like, why are they upside down? I don't know, but they look pretty funny. They make me laugh. Oh yeah, there's a little happy mistake. Like Bob Ross would say, a little happy mistake. So there's my boots. See that? Isn't that funny? I think that's adorable. Awesome. I got my, my floors. I need to have the house leveled. <laughs> if you put a ball here, it would definitely roll out. Um, but that, that's okay. It's handmade, right? So I need to put my floor in. We did the top and bottom of the middle section last week. We did the ceiling. It's the ceiling for the first floor and the, the floor for the second floor. So that's already done. Okay. That's in the floor. I had to think for a second. Here we go. I was like, where is that going? This is some, also some scrapbook paper and it looks like green wood. It's really weird. I like it a lot. Anything that's odd, I'm gonna usually like it. Unexpected. Okay, I'm getting there. Look at this piece. This was a piece of paper that we put a bunch of rubber bands on and then we took spray watercolors and sprayed it and then took the, the rubber bands off and it left this cool print. And I just had this in a drawer full of other things and I took it out and thought that that'll be fun. I'm gonna use that. I don't even know who made it. Somebody left it here, left me a gift. Right. This tacky glue is very tacky. It will not come out. I'm gonna have to take the top off. I know there's some in there. That's enough of that. Here we go. It's gonna like all come out at once. I'm just gonna stick my finger in <laughs> it. There we go. Awesome. So now I have a super gluey finger. It's okay. It's all for art. So here we go. The end of the okay. Okay, so this is ready. I'm gonna put this inside where this window is. Then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay. See that? Look how snazzy that's looking. Pretty nice. And I have the stairs. I also painted that cool aqua color turquoise. And those are gonna go in, but I have to do this, I have to do this wall first. I'm a mess. Okay, so I need another paper to go along this back wall. But what I'm gonna have is, I'm gonna have a fireplace that I cut out of this. This is my couscous fireplace, this box. And this is gonna go back here. And I'm gonna put a little fire in there. And it's gonna be so interesting looking. 
So I think what I'll do first is just paint the sides back there. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a little bit more of this aqua to go back there. So when I'm mixing colors, I always need to remember to mix the dark color into the light color. And I'm making a blue green, so I'm gonna mix the blue and the green together. And then I'm gonna add that to the white so I can get it where I want it to go. Because I know that this is gonna look really great next to my fireplace. My fireplace, I'm gonna make it red like this outside part. So I'm just gonna put this in here and just paint this back wall. I should have painted this before I put the green in on the floor, but I didn't know I was gonna do that at the time. And that's okay. So you can see how I'm putting this in here. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead. Awesome. Almost done. I'm using acrylic paint. You can use temper paint. You might be able to use some watercolors depending on what you're painting on. If it's just paper, watercolors will work fine. Um, I really like using acrylics. Okay, so I didn't do the middle part because that's gonna get covered up by my fireplace. But I'm not gonna put the, I'm not gonna do the fireplace today because I need to do the inside and make it, I need to make a fire. You have to have a fire. So I'm not ready for the fireplace. I just wanted to show it to you. But I wanna get my walls covered up. I had a window I cut here and then I changed my mind so I moved, moved that window. Awesome, let me get a different piece of paper to do another wall. There was a really cute paper I saw in here. Is it has like record players on it and old TVs. I think that's super cute. So I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna put this on this wall right here. Right inside. Right inside here. Awesome. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm just gonna measure it. And I think it's like six and a half. Thank you. It's seven by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> five and a half okay so I'm just gonna measure this I have a pencil somewhere there it is so I'm gonna measure over seven and then I'm gonna measure five and a half and I like to use this tool right here. This is called a triangle. And if I use the triangle, then I don't have to measure both sides to make sure it's straight. Because all I have to do is I have to line up the edge of my triangle with the edge of my paper. And I can draw a line. And I know that this line is perpendicular to this line. So that means that this space here and this space here stays the same. Very important tool. So if you don't have a triangle, you can make one just by cutting it out of cardboard. You just need to make sure that the lines are straight. Okay, so I have my lines on here. I'm just gonna cut this out real quick. Like a glove, fits like a glove. Let's see if I can get some of this glue to come out. There it goes. The tacky glue, I like to keep it on its side. 
because then the glue stays at the bottom. It's really great glue, but you have to make sure that you keep it turned on its side or it takes a long time for it to come out. It's like a, like a snail, super slow. I'm just cheering myself on. Awesome. Go. You're doing great. And then I'm going to put this in here. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see how I've got another wall. I wanted to make sure to get this wall done so I can put the stairs in. The stairs are so cool. So I showed you last, last week how to accordion fold this. And um, once I got it accordion folded, then I just painted it. And you have to figure out how long your stairs need to be for what you're doing. And look how I can just glue this in here. And it's going to be fine. If I want to, I could come back and I can put some supports underneath it. But I think I'm just going to start by gluing this in here. And I'm going to see. Sometimes you just kind of have to do a little trial and error. See how it works. That's what we do as creative thinkers. We just have to try it out. Look how cute that is. Right up to the second story. I'm gonna make sure to, to put one more piece right here because I'm keeping this so it's almost like there's a little patio. Keep it now. I mean, I might change my I might change my mind and take that off, but right now I'm gonna keep it. And I've already I've already traced it on here, so I'm gonna cut it out. So this is my my little like front lawn. And I can also have that open if I want to when the front doors are closed. I'm just going to hot glue this one on. I think that this would be such a great project to do with your children or maybe your a grandparent looking for a good project, um, whether it's a grandson or a granddaughter, little boy or girl, it doesn't matter. I enjoy doing this as an adult, so it doesn't, you know, art's for everyone. It doesn't have to be for kids, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue filling the space up. So I have finished filling the inside of my house and I'm reminding myself that this is background, okay? This is my background to all the fun details that we're gonna put on top, like little pieces of artwork and our fireplace, this awesome couscous box. It's not just for dinner anymore, it's for fireplaces. It's gonna become the fireplace right here, which means I probably need to make a chimney too. Need to make a note of that. So that'll go in there. And let's think about some other things that we can use. So you need to be looking around your house and thinking about the things that you see more creatively and differently, all right? I have this little box, this little anchovy box, Ugh, right? Gross. So I have this little box and I can make something out of it. We were thinking that maybe it would be a bed, make a little headboard and then put little covers and a little pillow on it, and this would be a great little bed. I think this is the bedroom up here. And then how about this? This is actually the little tin that the anchovies came in. So this could be the bathtub. It's a little fancy suite, a little ensuite. It has a little bathtub right in the room with the, with the bed. So there's a bathtub there. This could be a mirror on the wall in the bathroom. Look, right there if I wanted to. Or maybe it's the top of a table. You get to figure those things out. You can look around and find some little scraps of fabric and you can make curtains. 
I just hot glued these together. I don't like the way that they're they're making these little pleats, but I could get the iron out, or I might just glue I might just glue that together. Or as Heather was saying, maybe put a little tie around here, and then I will be able to put curtains around all of the windows. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So cute. I have to have an American flag for the front. I don't have a front door yet. I don't have the front door yet, but it's gonna happen. This is gonna be my little walkway that I just close up when I'm not using, okay? Also, I need to think about how am I gonna close this? What am I gonna use to attach this? I have this little S-hook type thing that I thought might be good to put on here and attach it to one side and then maybe have a, um, a ribbon or a pipe cleaner or something that comes through and then, and then it'll hold it closed because I'm gonna wanna take this with me when I go places and I'm gonna show up and they're gonna go, uh, Leanne Hale, what do you have there? And I was like, oh, hmm, you wanna see? Looky here, welcome to my playhouse. Look at that, you can come and play with me. So look around your house, see what you have, see what kind of cool stuff you have. You're gonna wanna have art on the walls, you're gonna wanna have furniture. Um, you can make little people if you wanna make little people to go in here too, little dolls. Little, you could use your action figures, use your Star Wars Lego men. I don't know, whatever you want. So, until I see you next time, think creatively, keep creating, and as always, be kind.